Hey everybody, it's Brian here with Coastal Kite Company and today I'm out on Treasure Island Beach for the second day of the fall kite fly. Unfortunately, the winds out here have been not so good this weekend. Uh, we did get some flying in yesterday, but today has been pretty minimal. Uh, however, uh, I wanted to stop by and talk to Chris at HQ Kites today uh, since we have a little bit of time. And in just a minute, we will be back with that. All right, we're back here with Chris to talk about HQ Kites a little bit. So Chris, tell us about HQ Kites. When was it founded? Where are you guys at? So HQ is a German brand founded uh, 30 years ago, uh, next year in 2021, and uh, formed in Germany. Basically was a group of kite enthusiasts that couldn't find uh, a level of quality kite that they really wanted for themselves and so they started building their own and people wanted them and so they set up their own little shop uh, there and then at some point they grew moved production to Poland uh, HQ kites were made in Poland for a very long time and then just got to where price was such a big thing that uh, you know eventually things moved to Asia as uh, most of the kites are made now All right but uh, yeah um, HQ stands for high quality Indeed, and that's why we have them, because they are some of the best kites you can get. So we're really excited to have the Power Kite line as an exclusive. Uh, we don't sell any other Power Kites, just HQ, because we think that they really are the best ones. What is your favorite kite to fly, Chris? I like all kinds of kites, but uh, when it comes to Power Kites, I, uh, I like a Beamer. Uh, it's a quad-handled Power Kite. In fact, we were just flying one yesterday getting a lot of offshore wind here today so it's really bumpy and gusty and I had a little bit of a higher performance high aspect ratio uh, foil kite I was flying and it was just bumpy wouldn't find that uh, this that wind right because it wants to fly at the edge and when you're in turbulent wind it's better to have the kite back a little bit further so um, it's not generating as much lift but it's very constant in the pull very um, deliberate and you know what it's going to do you can trust it and you know it's not going to punch out of the window and like start to feather out so um, it's a wonderful kite and winds like this um, you could or lack of winds like this today is a really bad day out here for flying kites but hopefully it'll pick up a little bit at some point so one of your kites uh, is like the top selling kite for you is the symphony beach I think is that one of your top sellers it's a really popular kite yeah and who is that good for like is that a beginner kite is that comes in three different sizes. There's a 1.3, which anybody could handle in terms of the amount of pull the kite's going to generate. It's really good for high wind because it's gentle, you know, even in 30 miles an hour. Um, like small kids at that point need caution, but an adult, not not too uh, oversized. The 1.8 is a good all-arounder. The 2.2 will have a nice tug and a, and, a, and a breeze, but then the good thing about a big sail is it flies in light wind. And so if you live inland, where there's typically not a lot of wind, you want a bigger sail because it just helps catch more air. Right. Yeah, uh, we also carry uh, several other things from HQ Kites. One of my favorites is the Crazy Cat Kite, just because it looks insane. And <laughs> we just got some of those in, so I'm excited about that. I think some of my friends that like cats are going to love that kite. But we also have all of the tails that they have and some other sport kites as well. Uh, I use a lot of the tails that they have. I use the crazy tail quite often on my kites um, and I have the generator and a few other things from that line so very excited to have those in the store as well. Uh, what can you tell us about what's coming up for HQ Kites? What's new coming for 2021? I have a lot of cool new single line designs that we're coming out with for 2021. Um, kites were actually quite popular during during the COVID uh, shutdowns because people had more time on their hands, it seems, and people are staying closer to home. They're looking for things to do outside, especially when you've been cooped up. And I'll tell you, you know, having a small little power kite that you can take out on a windy day and, you know, feel that tug and that get that upper body workout. And you, you don't even realize you're exercising when you're having a great time. Yeah, it's great out here. Anytime I can get out to the beach and fly, I absolutely love it. And I try and get out here every weekend weather dependent of course but <laughs> it's a good thing 
All right, Chris, can you tell us what a power kite actually is? Because I think a lot of people have no idea what a power kite is, so help us understand. Well, my take on it is um, a power kite is anything that's creating enough energy to move you or to pull you, uh, whether you harness that as a traction uh, device, like say you've got a buggy or a kite board or mm -hmm. uh, a land sailor or, you know, um, so it could be a small kite, could be a very big kite. Typically anything big, you're going to think, well, that's a power kite. But, you know, I don't think of really small kites as power kites, even though uh, in the right conditions they can be. But uh, I would say if it's generating enough power to kind of pull you along, like scudding, you know, then, you know, that could be considered a power kite. So our power kites, you said they're used for bugging and things like that. What about uh, when you're out on a board? So uh, you could use it on a... Uh, I've seen guys with skateboards, they'll go into a parking lot, you know, you want to watch out for the telephone poles, of course, but um, you don't need a lot of pull. So that's the beauty of, of the kites with, uh, it's all about friction and traction. So if you're scudding on the ground, you need a lot of energy to pull you, you know, on your right. heels. But on with wheels, you don't need that much energy, right? Yeah. So especially if you're on a hard pack, if you're on the sand, it's a little bit softer, so you need more energy. Um, there's more traction, uh, more drag, um, and so, yeah. So you can use a really small kite on pavement, but you know, pavement's not real forgiving. So yeah, you that's be, true. You if you fall, to, you'd rather fall on the you sand. You wouldn't want to start something. on the pavement. You, know, you <laughs> want to start on the sand, and then you know, build your confidence, whatever you choose to do. But um, I know guys that uh, it depends on where you live too. If you have access to this, you can get a mountain board, and um, this hard pack sand is actually not not too bad I mean where I live in North Carolina it's much softer you know um, I'm surprised mm -hmm. at how hard this beach is like, yeah uh, it's pretty good so it, it allows you to do more things you know especially with bigger wheels right well we missed uh, the buggy he had the buggy out yesterday and Friday and we missed filming that but uh, who knows the wind may pick up today if we're lucky <laughs> So Chris, can you tell us, there's a lot of people out there that do the kiteboarding uh, and they use similar kites. Are power kites and kiteboard kites the same thing? Yes and no. Uh, you know, power kites are kind of the gateway into kiteboarding. Kiteboarding is a, using a specialized uh, equipment. Similar but different. Like So there's like the top lines with these kites are the power lines, whereas with you know, kiteboarding they've reversed everything. Um, so, yes and no. Uh, <laughs> kiteboarding is really quite uh, great. You know, they've got so much ability to increase the amount of power that the wing is providing on the fly, right? So you've got straps or a clam cleat where you can adjust the sail, the, the angle of the wing, you know, um, and plus you've got the bar that you can pull back on. Right. And when you do that, you're, you're sheeting the wing. You know, like with a single line kite, you do that on the ground. But with a, a kiteboarding kite, where there's a, a, a true four line deep power system, you you have the ability to change the angle of attack of the wing. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so that's, uh, we call that a deep power system. And HQ makes some of that product. But for the most part, that's not pedestrian, meaning you wouldn't, you wouldn't go to the park and fly one of those and right. saying, hey, this I'm having a fun time. <laughs> that is a, that's a piece of equipment that you're using to power your skis or, you know, a kite board. Uh, you know, the, the two-line kites are the things that are more recreational that you can have fun with that, you know, aren't as involved. Um, and then the four-line kites, you know, you can fly beamers and things like that where you've got more control. Um, you can use the power. But, you know, you're not going to be on water with that stuff. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I won't say, I'll say it this way. Uh, depower kites aren't kites you fly for fun. You know, you fly them as a means to... For a purpose, For yes. a purpose, yeah. 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 So, and those systems are notably different. So you can use a two-line kite as a trainer kite Oops. to, uh, on your endeavors, if you wanted to say, I want to learn how to kiteboard, then we highly recommend, I would, learning to fly a two-line kite on a bar, and then you're gonna understand the wind window and where the power is, where the power zone is, you know, what the edges are. There's lots of things to, to be learned, you know. Even though people would say, well, that's not exactly how the kite operates when you're flying a bigger kite, and that's true, but 
learning how the wind is yeah. is a lot. Right? Just getting so, experience. Even yeah. when you're flying single line kites before you move up to the huge, you know, trilobites and octopuses that are 50 feet long and things like that, you really need to pay attention to the smaller kites and get to know how the wind works with them as well yep. before you start moving up. So that makes yeah. it's a good good thing, yeah. All right, well, thanks, Chris, for joining us today out here on the beach. And we hope that you stop by the website and check out all of the HQ kites that we have uh, in the store. And hopefully you'll find something you'll absolutely love.